Hello everybody, welcome back to Smart Ass Gaming. Um, it's an exciting day. My uh, direct drive wheel has finally arrived. And we're going to be doing a, an unboxing video. Midge. I can finally get rid of the old faithful G27. So I ended up going with the um, SW25 from Simplicity. Um, I placed the order uh, last Wednesday night and uh, it got dispatched yesterday and arrived today. I'm used to just kind of tearing into things, not doing videos. I'll just move you up a bit so you can see. So there's two packages. First one, this one looks like the main motor. Oh my god, I see. Wow. You have no idea how long I've wanted one of these. I've watched so many videos on YouTube, but I didn't see many videos of the of this particular wheel or any of the simplicity stuff. Hence, why I wanted to um to do one to try and help uh, other people out. I don't know what all these bits are. I'll have to figure them out. But yeah, there's the motor. It's the SW25, uh, 25 Newton meter. So standard kind of midge setup. You've got your uh, your two sockets here for your plugs, um, which come from the the main supply power box. Um, no mounting holes on the bottom sides or top. Um, it's all mounted from the front by the look of it and I assume there's a bracket in the other box which we will get to now. Okay, box number two from Simplicity. <clears throat> what I plan to do is, today I'll be doing an unboxing video uh, and just showing how it's going to mount to my rig. And then over the next month or so, I'll be taking videos of setup and use, and I'll come back in a month's time uh, with another video on how I'm getting on with it, basically, and what problems I come across, if any. So we've got. two cables here that run from the power supply to the unit itself. Uh, power lead. Emergency stop. And the USB lead. Really nice packaging job they've done. Okay, we've got some nuts and bolts and the mounting bracket for the wheel and the adapter for the for mounting your steering wheel on. This is the main power supply. Very light. Of 
think that's everything in that box. Yep. Okay, so here's everything that was in the boxes laid out on the table. Um, there's your power cables, USB cable, emergency stop button, the power supply, uh, some instructions about uh, mounting the wheel adapter, some nuts and bolts, the wheel adapter, uh, those three parts of the mounting bracket, the power supply cable and of course the midge motor. So the next step is to move all this upstairs and get it bolted to the rig. So as we all know there's a huge choice of wheel rims uh, out there for OSWs. Uh, I chose to go with a uh, Fanatic rim um, and for that I needed uh, this USB converter um, which allows the Fanatic LEDs to work and displays that are on the wheel. So basically this is the adapter that came with my OSW. So that will bolt to that like that. This plugs into USB. And then my rim, which is brand new, uh, the BMW GT rim, um, will plug straight on top of there. Um, and the, the LEDs and the display screen will work via the USB. So a brilliant design. Uh, I can't remember who this adapter's from, but I will put it in the description. Okay, so we're up at the rig now and I've just finished uh, getting my SW25 installed uh, on my Simlabs Evo. Um, no problems whatsoever, it took me about 15 minutes to get it fitted. Uh, bolts wise you've got um, 12 bolts in total, uh, M8s. Uh, you've got 4 on the sides here which hold the three main parts of the mount in bracket together. Uh, you've got four on the front which bolt the the motor to the mounting bracket and then you've got four underneath, two at the front, two at the back to mount the actual motor and bracket to the rig itself. Um, as far as movement goes there is nothing, no movement whatsoever. Um, I have driven a little bit with it and it's there's no movement at all. Yeah, the mounting is superb. So like I said I didn't have any problems mounting uh, the motor to the rig. Uh, the only tip I have and if I did it again this is what I would do is to put these bolts in, the ones on the side, but leave them loose until you've got every bolt in and then go around and tighten them up. I made the mistake of tightening these up and then it took a lot of pushing, pulling, moving, twisting to get these bolts in place underneath uh, the two at the front, two at the back. Uh, so definitely put these in but leave them loose until you've got every bolt in. Uh, that would be a lot easier. Okay, so here's a little bit of a close up for you on the, the bolt in situation. There's the two on the side. Um, they're the two you need to leave loose. The four on the front, which bolt the bracket to the motor, or the motor to the bracket. And there's your two on the other side. There's your plugs that go down to your power supply. And there's the four, which bolt the bracket to the Evo rig. Uh, this USB cable is for the the rim. And that just simply runs and plugs into uh, my USB hub. And I've just got it tie wrapped there to make sure it stays there. And there's there's plenty of slack there for when you when you turn the wheel. The 
two magnets that I've hot glued on top there are just for my screen uh, that I sit on top when I'm racing that runs my dash. The power supply I've got uh, underneath the pedal plate, just down there. Uh, one thing to be aware of that there are fans in the power supply so you need to make sure that they've got room to breathe. Uh, but noise wise there's absolutely no noise from the power supply and no heat whatsoever that I've found so far. Now on to the software side of the SW25. Uh, this is the software that uh, comes with the wheel. Um, previously, uh, from what I've read, you had to do a Skype call uh, with the with the the people that sell the wheel uh, in order to do the setup. Uh, this was something that I wasn't particularly keen on, um, but Having said that, I went with the wheel anyway, but thankfully they now send you an email link with the firmware and the software to install, uh, so you don't have to wait for the Skype call, although you can still do it that way. Um, he gives you two options in the email, to either Skype with him or to set it up yourself. I chose to set it up myself. Um, with regards to the software, I haven't used any other uh, direct drive wheel, um, so I can't compare this to anything, but what I can compare is to what I've seen in other YouTube videos. Before choosing my wheel, I've watched literally hundreds uh, of videos on direct drive wheels and software wise to me this SW25 feels like it's lacking somewhat uh, just with the uh, amount of options available um, compared to other software I mean if you look at the Simicube software there is pages and pages and pages of tweaking options to tweak every little part of the wheel um, whereas the SW25 seems to sort of group it into I don't know what six sliders um, so it seems like you're adjusting a lot of different things at once with one slider uh, whereas other wheels you can adjust those individual things having said that I mean the wheel feels good I do like it but I don't have anything to compare it to is it better than my G27 yeah of course it is uh, but with regards to other direct drive wheels, I I can't comment because I, I've not tried any others. So the software itself is pretty simple really. It's it's kind of a plug and go thing. Um, I used the setup that he sent in the email that said it should be good for most racing games. I have tweaked it a little to my liking, but I do need to tweak a little more. So on the first page here we've got uh, rotation, the amount of degrees in rotation that you're using. I'm using 900. <coughs> uh, the end stops of the wheel, 100%. Uh, torque, I'm running 14.71 at the moment, but that is something I'm still playing with. Um, I don't know whether it would be better to, to put it up to the 25 and then limit the torque in iRacing. I don't know, I need to play with that. Details boost. Um, oh, if you hover over any of these, you get a description of what it does. Uh, with the details boost, I did try running uh, a small amount, but it, it seemed to kick the wheel back mid corner all the time. So you, you'd be set up in a corner and the wheel would be trying to kick back. So I've, I've turned that off for now. Uh, max speed of the wheel, uh, 200 RPM. Um, the weight of the wheel, uh, the load on the motor, 1.45% is what I'm running. It feels pretty good to me right now, but I will probably tweak it at a later stage. On to the advanced tab. Uh, the mode of the controller, um, 
mode 0 being most reactive, mode 9 being uh, the smoothest. I'm running the 2 that's recommended. Bandwidth 0 0.50 as recommended. I haven't really played with that at the moment, but it will be something that I will tweak. Um, weighted center of the wheel, uh, the range in degrees of the weighted center, and the gain of the weighted center. Uh, and that's pretty much all your settings you have. Like I say, there really isn't a lot. Um, you've got different profiles, uh, inputs on the back of the wheel, so what's in use. Obviously, I've got my emergency stop button plugged in, so that's set for that. And live telemetry uh, while you're using the wheel, so you can see what the max torque output has been, etc. And that is the software. So when you get the email um, from Simplicity, uh, you get two things to install. You get the firmware for the wheel, <coughs> excuse me, and the software for the wheel. Uh, the firmware is just nothing to show. You just install it, um, and this is obviously the software. So this adapter on the front here is uh, from Sim Racing Machines. Um, and my fanatic wheel just simply plugs on there like that. The uh, LEDs on the wheel uh, work with a program called uh, Fan LEDs, Fan LEDs, uh, which we'll take a look at now on the computer. So with my SW25 from Simplicity, I'm using the Fnatic uh, BMW rim, uh, and this is the software that's required to make the LEDs work with the Sim Racing Machines adapter. Um, it's called Fana LEDs. Brilliant piece of software. Pretty much install and forget um, for what I'm using it for. With the display, you can the display on the rim you can have it set for speed uh, water temperature there's loads of different things I just use it for gear uh, display um, and I found it install and forget because um, it just works it flashes when it needs to when the car hits the rev limiter uh, but there are different pages for tweaking all those things to your liking uh, and saving profiles I've not had to do that so I haven't really played for it but brilliant piece of free software uh, search for it on Google uh, and it can run any of the Fanatec uh, rims to allow the, the LEDs and the displays to work uh, and also all the buttons so brilliant so there's my overview so far of the SW25 from Simplicity um, I'm, I'm very happy with it it's a big step up from what I had uh, I would obviously like to try another uh, direct drive wheel from a different manufacturer just to, just to have something to compare it to. Um, I will keep playing with the settings until I find something I'm, I'm more than happy with. Um, there's, I found that on YouTube there's not many videos on the SW25 um, to, to get any help on the settings. Uh, so I found it best just to spend a couple of hours just sitting there playing with it yourself and um, and see what suits you. Uh, so this is the exact wheel uh, from Simplicity that I've ordered um, to let you see, you know, exactly what's included in the package. Um, so you've got the eight million absolute encoder. Um, it fits. Uh, 70 mil uh, rims uh, the UK postage for me was £17.50 so not too bad for the weight just seen I don't know if they're bringing out a new one by the look of it pre-order I don't know So that just about wraps up my review so far of the Simplicity SW25. Um, I hope this review has been some help to someone. Uh, I know that when I was looking, uh, there just wasn't enough videos about. Um, there was 
some videos for the smaller midge motors but not the SW25 so like I say I hope it's been some help to some people if it has please give me a like subscribe um, and I'll hopefully see you again soon cheers guys bye bye